Hello, Greg from Balloon Market here and welcome to BMTV. Right, today we're going to do something a little bit different. However, before we get on to that, do you remember the two foot balloons I showed you last week? Well, Rachel, Mrs B, she decided she was going to discover another use for them. So here she is in the warehouse on a homemade space hopper. That's right, yes crazy crazy lady anyway um, she wasn't actually on it I wouldn't recommend bouncing on them because they probably will burst but uh, she thought it was quite funny to um, well take a step back to the 70s there right today what we're gonna do is a bit of an experiment safety glasses on these are actually safety glasses I think they're pretty funky looking but um, yeah I don't really need them I've not got a white coat so I had to put something on to demonstrate an experiment a few weeks ago, um, actually I think it was a couple of months ago, wasn't it? It was, um, the end of, no, it was last month, February, when uh, we were, Mark came in and showed us how to do a Valentine um, design. And he used the stretchy balloon tape. And if you remember rightly, he put it on top of a, a, a bubble balloon and he put a 260Q on it and it, that became another anchor point to attach the head. So somebody since said, Greg, how sticky is it? And I just say, well, very. So I was wondering, is there a way we can demonstrate how sticky the stretchy balloon tape actually is? So we've come up with a bit of an experiment. Um, I'm not too sure how successful it's going to be. We've, we've tried, well, we've, we've done this once already and it was semi-successful. So um, we're going to compare it to normal sellotape, gaffer tape and the balloon tape itself. So um, what we're going to do is we've got this. This is a, a nail tub from B&Q. It came with nails in. So I've attached some fishing wire to it that you may or may not be able to see. So what I'm going to do is take each piece of tape and put it onto the balloon like that. And then we're going to add some weight and see when it breaks away from the balloon. So we've got these bubble weights. These weigh 35 grams each. And then we have these heavier weights. Now these are just off cuts of steel and uh, we got those from a local engineer and we use those for holding down the ends of arches just in the, in the cardboard weights. These weigh 460 grams. So there's five grams difference in 13 of the bubble weights and one of these. So these are heavier by five grams. So I've got an idea now, having done it once, how much it takes. So. Um, we're just going to go ahead and give it a go because it might change. Now, the three pieces of tape I've cut already, they're all of a similar similar size. We're going to start with the sellotape. I've tried not to put my fingers on it too much um, so I don't reduce the, the stickiness of it. Okay, so there's a sellotape on there. I'm just going to put this on the balloon somewhere in the middle, close to the bottom. Oh, I've put that on very badly. Okay. No, if not, it's okay. It's okay. I'm going to start with the bubble weights. I know it takes a few bubble weights, so I'm going to start with putting six in. Let's see where that goes. We're starting to move a little bit already. Seven, eight. It's sort of pulling, pulling away from the balloon at the edges there. Oh, it's making a bit of a noise now. How many was that? I think that was nine. Oh yes, definitely. There's definitely some movement pulling away. That's ten. Oh yeah, that's pulling away. That's ten. So that's 350 grams there. I'm going to go for another one. No, I'm not. Here it comes. Oh, it's holding on. No, here it comes. Come on. Oh! It doesn't want to come off, does it? Oh, no, no, it does, it does. Can you feel the tension? There you go. So that is, that's 11 of those weights. So what's that, 350, 385 grams there. So, take all of those out. That's not bad, that's just normal sellotape. So if you've got nothing else available, then normal sellotape, probably be okay for the odd repair or something like that. Where's the tape gone? Tape's still on the balloon, get rid of that. Right, now we're gonna move over to the gaffer tape. Now gaffer tape, very, very, very sticky stuff. It's got a multitude of uses. Um, 
it is stickier than sellotape. So let's see how this fares. I'm going to press it on as, as best I can so it sticks as well as it possibly can. Right. Yeah, that's got to be better than this. Yeah. I reckon I'll be able to get all of these in. No problem. I think. There you go, that's all 13. So that's 455 grams. Starting to move a little bit, but I think we'd be here a while. So what I'm going to do is tip these out and replace it with one heavy one. So that's the equivalent of those 13 bubble weights. And then I'm going to continue adding the bubble weights. I'm going to add them two at a time so we're not hanging around for too long. We're starting to move a bit. Not a lot though, I have to be honest. It's not moving massively. This is obviously just for experimental purposes. There's no way you would actually attach something like this to a balloon, expecting it to stay like that all day or all night. I think we're going to have to put two heavyweights in there to get it to... Yeah, I think we're going to have to do that, so... Right, put that one heavyweight back in. Get another one. Right, so that's where we were at. So two heavyweights, four bubble weights, six. I really hope the gaffer tape doesn't win. It'd be very embarrassing. Wow, it actually looks like the fishing wire is starting to tear through the gaffer tape a little bit. Oh no, it's coming, it's coming! Oh, this is scary. This is not good for my heart. <laughs> I want to grab another one. But no, no. <laughs> this is peeled half, it's peeled one half off, but the other half is sticking really well. I can hear it. The gap was getting a little bit. There you go. It was quite explosive, wasn't it? All right, so how many did we get there? Oh, that one was in there. So we got 12 of the bubble weights. I think, yeah, 12. There's just that one left in there. And two of the heavy weights. So what's that? 400, 1,200, 1,300 and something grams. So that's, that's, that's pretty good, I think. Right, now. The moment we've all been waiting for. I really do hope this one wins. You can feel how sticky it is just the second you take that backing tape off. And it's, it's stretchy as well, it's obviously called stretchy balloon tape and that's so that it, it, it can move. I asked Rachel earlier on what, what the main benefits are and she said that it's good for if you've got two foil balloons, um, for instance a big four and a zero. And they spin around independently. So she said you just put them sort of in the, the valley between the two balloons. And they still move around, but they stay facing the same way. So that's how she's used them. She's used them for other things as well, all sorts of sculptures and, and things. But, okay, fingers crossed. There we go. Okay, so that's on there now. Now, I think this is as sticky, at least as sticky, as the gaffer tape. So we're going to start with the big weights. It starts to stretch it the second you put it in there. That's two of the big weights. Now that we, we managed 12, there's only one more. I'm going to make the assumption that it can take three, and then I'm going to start putting the bubble weights in. That is stretching, but it's not moving very fast at all. So I'm going to start bubble weights. Six. 
So that's one heavyweight more than the gaffer tape. It is stretching it down, but it's, it's stretching it very, very slowly. It's not coming apart at the sides at all. I've run out of bubble weights now. I might have to tip those out and put four heavyweights in there. It's just stretching. All right, I'm going to do that. All right, four of the heavy weights. So that's, that's what we just had with all those bubble weights in there. Let's go with the bubbles again, maybe. I really is stretching the tape now. But it's not really pulling it away from the balloon. We could be here a while. It was at this point when we did try it before. Actually pulled the magnets off the ceiling, so we had to get the bigger magnets. We were just using the smaller ones. I think I'm going to have to use another big weight. Oh dear, okay. So this is nearly two and a half kilos now. <laughs> I can't believe this, it's crazy. I'm just gonna go for the, the last big one. No, no I'm not, no I'm not. A bit scared. All right, bubble weights. I can't see this taking all these bubble weights as well. Yo! Ah. Ah. And there you go. So that was four bubble weights, five of the heavy weights. That's more than two and a half kilos, I think. My heart is pounding. Have a great week. See you next week. Bye. What are you going to show us, Mark, for your finale? Shall we do some deco bubbles? Let's do that. Okay, so we'll take a 24 inch yep. uh, deco bubble. Again, these are sealed in our pack. So the deco bubbles are effectively clear bubble balloons that you generally put other, bubble, other balloons inside. Other latex balloons inside. Okay. Um, uh, the biggest difference, obviously, Nut the apertures at the end so that there's room to actually put something in, which means there's no self sealing okay. valve. Yeah. So some people, you know, struggle tying these. So we'll show you, we'll show you the best way of doing. We that struggled now. when we first got these in um, years ago, and we tried to do it. We could never get it right. So we're going to learn today. The next big thing is two foot balloons. This is, th these have been around a while, we've just not stocked them. We've decided to get them in now. They're made by a company called Bell Bell. We've been stocking their 10 inch and 12 inch balloons for more years than I care to remember. And they're, they're great quality. 